everyone, Dr. Mac with this new video, which I feel everyone not just should watch it, but they should enroll in this masterclass as well. Infection control protocols, the basics of infection control and all the way to following the in and out, which I personally call it the basic etiquette in the room. It's not just about how you behave, it's about knowing everything. When you know the infection control process, you're not just confident, your whole body language and your aura changes. You exactly know what to do. It not just saves you time, but when we are more confident and we know what to do, the chances that you're making mistakes, the prognosis go quite down as well. So there's a higher rate of you doing the OSCEs and your practical exam with a lot more ease and running on time. Infection control is one of those elements that no matter how experienced of a dentist you are and no matter how good you are and no matter either your two years experience, you have no experience or you have 30 years of experience. If you really wanna pass this exam, you need to know the ins and out or infection control protocol. I feel like without infection control, it's very difficult to pass the exam. Now, majority of the time, what generally happens is you might do an amazing exam and you might actually pass the infection control element, but then next time when you're giving the exam and there is one aspect where things go really stressful and haywire and you're missing out or you're stressed and things not doing right, you might end up doing an error. And that is why the most important element to understand is not to learn the infection control at the end of your um, training when you're about to give the exam in two weeks. People learn infection control and that's the biggest issue I feel all the time that they're trying to learn infection control two weeks before the exam. No, you need to learn infection control as the first thing when you're starting your ADC training. So by that time you are giving your exam, you've practiced it so many times again and again and again, your body starts to memorize it. Your body has felt everything. Your mind has captured everything. So your body starts to flow with your learning. Now what happens, people don't learn infection control. They, some people have worked as a dental assistant, some people have not worked as a dental assistant. In the clinics even, clinicians are not doing it correctly because they're not giving the exam, right? Even if they miss out on something, they don't have to sit in the exam tomorrow. So for them, it's very, very different for someone who's sitting in the exam tomorrow or they have to sit in the exam. So I would say this is the first thing you should learn. So by the whole training, you practice with the same elements. So when you go in the exam scenario, you actually perform. What generally happens, this is the last thing people train in. And then in the exam scenario, in a pressure scenario, your old habits come back. And then when you make a mistake and you don't realize that you've made a mistake and then the examiners notice it and you fail the whole exam. Infection control, and I highly emphasize on this because this is one thing, no matter how far experienced dentist you are, if you don't know infection control, you are not passing this exam. Australian Dental Council examination, they don't compromise on infection control at all. So if you have any doubts, you ha I, I would highly suggest to learn infection control before going to the exam. I have made this detailed masterclass for everyone. This will be available on my website. I will put a link down below. And the reason I've done this is even if someone doesn't want to do the full comprehensive course or the short courses we have, they can at least go and learn the infection control process because your chances of passing the exam goes quite high. If you just know this one thing correctly and you know in and out and you exactly know. With this master class I've created, I have made sure I do literally A to Z on infection control. I will show you exactly how to enter the room, how to leave the room, 
the basic etiquettes, the ergonomics and chair positioning, how to wear the PPE, how to remove the PPE. If someone is wearing glasses, what's your protocol? If you are not a glasses wearer, what are your protocol? If you drop an instrument, how to pick it up, how to behave that way, what to answer the examiner. If you drop an instrument in the patient's mouth or the patient's throat, which is your mannequin head, phantom head, how to behave, what to do, what to say, how to transfer the instruments from the clean area to the dirty area, how to open the instruments, how to use a transfer tweezer. Is it important to use a transfer tweezer? What are the pros and cons? Or doesn't latest infection control guideline suggest you if you can avoid it and just change gloves, it's better. You need to know about that. All these elements make that infection control masterclass. How to dispose the LA needle? How to dispose the needle? Wait, are we gonna recap? Are you gonna uh, recap the uh, needle or are you not gonna do it? Are you gonna dispose it straight away after or are you gonna leave it on the tray? If you wanna leave it, how to leave it on the tray? All those questions in our mind that we go in and we say that I wear loops, how to behave in the technical OSCE. If I don't wear loops, how to actually do the technical OSCE. Now I have created two very detailed courses and they will be available on my website. I will put the detail link below on the bottom uh, of, of this video and on the description below. We have created a new skilled OSCE course, technical course in which you will learn infection control, basics of infection control, all the PPE protocol, how to enter the room, how to leave the room, the basic ergonomics, the frequently asked questions on infection control. We will be showing you exactly how to get it done. At the same time, all the performance OSCEs, how to do the local anesthesia, how to do the extraction OSCE, how to do the matrix band, how to do the rubber dam, how to do the fissure seal and your CPR OSCE as well. This will give you the benefit that you're already ahead of all those people who are moving their head that should I do this, should I not do this? Anytime in the exam scenario when we are wasting our time or we are not sure how to exactly do it, that's the time we are losing out on a lot of stuff. And that's the biggest thing that once we know exactly what to do and all my students exactly know it, they finish a composite and the contacts not there, but they're not stressing because they have learned with my courses that how to recreate that contact. And they know it, they don't need to do the whole filling again. They will do the recreate the contact and they will still end up passing the exam. That takes the ease off. That's take the pressure away. That's take your anxiety away because you exactly know how to deal with the problems. One thing you have to understand in the ADC exam, things will never be straightforward. Things will go wrong. You need to learn how to fix the issue. You don't want to be a complainer and saying, oh, ADC did this to me. They will always do something. Things will never. I'm not going to say they will always do this to you or anyone. They don't deliberately do it. But the thing is, things go wrong. We know the incidents happen that someone has a loose tooth. Someone's tooth is super gingively or someone's, some, uh, someone's tooth is submerged two millimeter in and you still have to do a crown prep that way. You get a contact which is two millimeter open. We get that all the time. How can you guarantee that in the examination, your instrument won't get dropped on the floor and you don't have to do a viva with the examiner? You don't have to explain that protocol. How many times do you think you're gonna remove the instruments from a clean area and transfer it to the dirty area? How many times will you do it? How many times you have to dispose everything? All these questions, which cause not just stress, but when you're not a hundred percent sure in the exam scenario, you end up doing an error. And with the infection control, even a minor error can lose you your whole exam. You can see people, they're passing everything, they fail infection control, they hold, fail the whole thing. Because this is that one thing that you cannot pass it. So I've got two detailed masterclass, the infection control 
masterclass, I would like everybody to learn. Because this is that one video, I never say do this course, do that course, do whatever course you want, but this is that one course I would like everyone to do it and learn it the right way. Because trust me, this one course is gonna be a game changer for your whole ADC journey. Infection Control Masterclass. I've got a detailed video that will explain you everything, the depth, the basics, and the same time, the etiquettes of behaving in a dental surgery, what the Australian Dental Council expects from you. The link will be down below. I've got a special discount on this video for the first 100 people. And I have made sure that the cost of this course is at a very reasonable price. So maximum people can not just enroll in it, but maximum people can benefit out of it. And that was the main aim when I started teaching. I wanted to make sure the knowledge has to be gone to the majority of the people out there. So if you want to learn the OSCEs and you always struggle with how to do the local anesthesia, how to do the extraction, then you can join the skilled OSCE course. We have a special discount on that as well for the first hundred people. And then we have a special discount on a master class of infection control. The OSCE course includes your infection control ergonomics at the same time includes your performance OSCEs as well. The infection control includes your basic guidelines, the infection control protocol, ergonomics, and at the same time, the frequently asked questions about how, to, what happens and what should we do in this scenario, that scenario, that scenario. So I would say this would be one of the best investments you can do for your ADC journey. Learn the infection control protocols correctly and change your life, but at the same time, have that confidence level when you go in the exam. It's not about changing your life this way and that way. ADC exam is a life-changing moment when people pass this. We all know this. As soon as you pass ADC, it changes your life. We all have struggled a lot. But I have seen when you know what you're doing and you are confident with your knowledge, the behavior and the way you do the exam makes all the difference. So the Infection Control Masterclass is now live. I will put the link of the course in the description below. It's on my website, drmacdentalacademy.com, drmacdentalacademy.com. I will put a link of that as well. I will put the course link as well. If you have any questions regarding it, you know the best place to reach me is on my Instagram, uh, Dr. Murtaza Mac. I'll put the Instagram handle somewhere as well on the video and the link below. At the same time, our Facebook group, ADC Help with Dr. Mac has all the useful stuff along with the YouTube that you can um, get all the info. I hope maximum people do the infection control course because I know that this course is gonna change the way you deal and give your whole ADC exam. Because this exam with the practical journey that you have with this infection control in your mind, it's gonna be a game changer. So I wish you all, all the best. Again, as always, if you have any questions regarding your ADC journey, um, if you'd like to talk to me separately, or you have any particular area that you always struggle or you have a request for me, comment below, let us know, or um, I can contact you back on my, or you can contact me on my Instagram. As always, stay confident, work hard, and keep going because that's what's gonna take you far. Okay, God bless you everyone. See you all in the masterclass.